Hey guys, welcome back to Kenny Fan TV. Great day of games today. Wanga, Steve, glad for joining. Welcome back again. We had some good games today, some big wins. We can start with the first game anyway, uh, Newcastle City. I remember what you guys were predicting yesterday and you hit the, hit the mark. I mean, Steve, especially you. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud. I feel good. I feel good about it. I As a Ghana, he feels it. proud. Yeah, so in that game, so the game came, it was, uh, it was the game finished 1 1. Uh, we had goals. Uh, who was it for Manchester City? That we grabbed you. Yeah, so you have Guardiola, Guardiola 35 minute, yeah. and then uh, Gordon the 58. So yeah. the game seemed, seemed pretty tight. Newcastle had a lot of opportunities there, but you give us, give us your view on that, Steve. Yeah, you see, uh, I think I had, I had said this before, before, after the analysis of last weekend, and then midweek even before the games i said that it's going to be a tight a tight uh, matchup because i know newcastle have always tried to break the bread against manchester city for some time now because they, they've been trying to do it one of the things i think that didn't work out i say that isaac might might score but he didn't but <clears throat> one thing i'm proud of is i say that this game the best case scenario if you remember i said it's going to be a draw because i know those those guys were 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 yearning, were yearning to get a get a win or whatever outcome. They mm. always give Manchester City a headache, and from my prediction, I think I'm a happy man because not an Arsenal fan, but I I said it because I know Newcastle have always been a headache to Manchester Manchester City mm. for years. But the game is the game. Ninety minutes, impressive performance. Actually, I have I have Godiol in my fantasy Premier League. I actually brought him in my fantasy Premier League this week, and he's, he gives he, he gave he, he gave me some points, and I'm and, and I'm really and I'm really happy about it. So I like it. Yeah, I mean uh, Wanga. I mean watching that game. Uh, the one thing I was impressed about is how Newcastle just they were just in there all the time from first minute from first kickoff. They were in the game. It didn't seem like Manchester City were overwhelming them. Um, but obviously, this is this was the first game in the season for Manchester City without Rodri, so yeah. it wasn't a, it wasn't a good start of the blocks for them. Yeah, uh, I think uh, first of all, uh, this is the first game Manchester City are playing without Rodri in that uh, midfield, and we've clearly seen they've not been able to create uh, those chances they usually do. And you also note they don't have uh, Kevin De Bruyne, who is uh, have been uh, you know getting those assists to Haaland. And uh, clearly, they are struggling to score goals. Uh, it's a frustrating draw uh, for Manchester City. This is now the third draw. We saw they drew at Inter Milan. Uh, they also drew at Arsenal, the 2-2 uh, draw that was also frustrating. Against uh, Newcastle, they've been beating. Uh, still saying uh, uh, Newcastle uh, have been a headache to Manchester City. But, you know, from we can see from past results, Manchester City have been beating uh, Newcastle all the way. I think the last time Newcastle won against Manchester City, I don't know, was in 2020. And uh, today's match was entertaining. Newcastle could have easily won, win. Uh, being at home, clearly, they, 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 they could easily win this game. And uh, one thing we have to also see, to also recognize the Anthony Gordon, this English uh, midfielder. The guy is doing superb. We saw uh, at the international stage when he was called... For, to play for England and also today against Manchester City, he could have easily scored a, a, a goal and until um, he was uh, he was brought down by Ederson. But at, at the end of the day, he got uh, the penalty and you know he put away superbly. Joel Linton was also superb, and I think uh, moving forward, Manchester City is going to you know have a, a really tough chance when it comes to title race because uh, if they cannot create chances for their top scorer, that is Erling Haaland. And uh, the, the likes of Jeremy Doku come, come in the game. And, you know, they are also, also not providing that service. Clearly, they are going to struggle moving forward. Yeah. Well, about, you know, that's a big prediction to make about City. I mean, we've seen this for the last few years. This, they tend to do this. You know, they, they normally come off the blocks tentatively, slowly. I mean, this season, they've done better than most seasons. So if this is bad for them, God knows how they'll finish the season at the end of the season, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but uh, OK, then I think that's that for City. Let's move on to the uh, afternoon games. So, yes, I know today we're missing one particular person. You would enjoy that. But Chelsea, Brighton, wow. uh, someone predicted yesterday that would be a nil-nil game. 
So <laughs> big scoring game, four two. Uh, you have the Brighton two goals from uh, Ruta and uh, Balaba, but mm. the big, the big, the big thing today was Palmer. Palmer four goals. He's putting himself down on the history books. He scored oh. three three hat tricks for Chelsea already. Abdi. And he's equal to the, the big players in the Lampard and Drogba. Go on, give me that, Steve. Abdi, I, I'd like to, to jump in because I told you yesterday it's going to be a high scoring game. I yeah, said that yeah. too. I said that too. Yeah. And I said, I, I said, I, I got, I'm not going to pull who's the winner, but I said it's going to be a high scoring game. I mm. expected that because I know the the Brighton team is so thirsty, they're thirsty of uh, wins and goals, and the Chelsea team is also getting into shape. And I also mentioned Sancho again, mm. he had, a, he had a, an, assist, an, an assist today, it's, it's yeah. impressive. Chelsea are trying to get the form. So, I think from the Chelsea game, it was impressive. Cole Palmer, ooh, it was so cold in the it was so cold in the field. <laughs> that guy, impressive. <laughs> today's, today's game, I think I can do this. Proudly. Mm. Going a bad way, proudly I can do this. Cold, cold. <laughs> and my palms. <laughs> He's joined. I mean, today he's joined. He's joined the legends today. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, did, he did good. I was impressed. I was impressed. Penalty or not for that goal, but the four goals that is impressive because he scored yeah, four yeah, goals, man, man. I mean, that's impressive. I mean, yeah. when you look at it, Wanda, you had uh, the whole time uh, Drogba's career at Chelsea. He's only had three hat tricks. <laughs> and, uh, same for Lampard. Lampard in yeah. over four hundred appearances only had three hat tricks. I mean, Palmer's mm-hmm. done it in forty nine games. He's got three hat tricks. Yeah, I think uh, Cole Palmer has been superb in this particular game. And, you know, he won the young player of the season last season. Uh, when you look into this particular player coming off uh, Manchester City Academy, he work, he played under Enzo Maresca, the current Chelsea coach. So I think this is a coach that have a good understanding with Palmer and he's clearly getting the best out of him. Scoring four goals, he's the first player to score, you know, the four goals in, in the first half of the Premier League. And uh, the, 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 and and you see the amount of assists he has accumulated. The the GA he has is amazing. So mm. I think Chelsea today have been superb. Yesterday also said this game, you know, will be high goal scoring. I think uh, on the other side, Brighton have been poor defensively. The kind of goals they considered honestly were giveaway. We saw all their keeper are giving out the ball to the to the goal that led to you know the Palmas uh, second goal. You also uh, saw the defensive mistake that Even happened I to today. Differ. I, I beg to differ. I beg to differ. A good a good striking force beats good defense. I beg to differ. But but honestly, Chelsea were pressing good and. Uh, Brighton kept on giving the the balls away in their own defensive defensive half, and that led to the pressure that led to the you know four goals from Cole Palmer. Let's not take away exactly. also the free kick. A good offense, exactly my point. A good offense beats. Come on, <laughs> come on, come exactly on! But you're just getting back to me. <laughs> but but, but, I but when, you, a good offense beats a good defense any but, day. But when you look at uh, the way Brighton played today, Not you can't com- you can't compare you can't compare the way it has been it played with Arsenal. It got a drill. It even managed to beat Manchester United. I think today Brighton have been poor defensively, honestly. And uh, let's not take away uh, the the good goals. Called Palmer scored that superb free kick to cap off, uh, you know, the hat trick, and he has been superb. Moving forward, Jordan Sancho coming off from Manchester United, giving the his third assist, you know, and. Uh, as a Manchester United fan, as much as it's hard, I think uh, Julian Sancho is also doing good. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Julian Sancho is doing good. And this Chelsea team moving forward, I think they, they'll challenge for the top four. And uh, their coach is also young and they have a squad. You can see their player, the players that are coming off the bench, Nkunku, Joao Pedro. Uh, Joa, you, can, you can see the players that are coming off the bench. And Kuku, you can see also Joa Felix, so Pedro Neto. This, this, this Chelsea side have got quality players who I think uh, can push the other teams to the brink. Let's, let's give them time and see how they'll fare on. But credit to them and, you know, call Palmer. Yeah. He was called today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today, I mean, he was he was absolutely delightful. He was brilliant. Four goals it always impresses me. Anyone that scores four goals in this top flight football like that. But mm. Brighton had Brighton had their chances. They had it. They yeah. they're taking it. Could have been a different scoreline. I still think Chelsea are a bit fragile behind. Yeah. It's not going to be good again for big teams. Yeah. 
All right, guys. Now, let's go over to the evening game. Liverpool Wolves. Ooh. Now, Liverpool, I believe in this game just about might have just sneaked mm-hmm. it. I mean, Wolves, Wolves are not the best of teams, but they had chances against this Liverpool team. And if they were a little bit more clinical in their midfield, in their passing, mm-hmm. you know, they were a bit more sharper, it would have been a different game. But I think Liverpool yeah. attackingly and the attack, they always look good. 2 1 away, you know, their mm-hmm. slot still going on. The train is yeah. still moving. They're top of the league now. Um, Aston Villa maybe can join them tomorrow if they win. But Steve, uh, so far so good for slot. I think. I think it's 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 been a good a good run for him, but I think it's mm. gonna it's gonna run out of luck at some point because such a, such a win today it was a narrow one. That was so narrow because you've seen how you, you you've seen how the game was because it wasn't that easy. They've been struggling mm. to get that to get that three points. So I don't think Ancelotti has got. I don't think Slot is gonna Slot is not is not gonna sort it out. We're <laughs> gonna put it in a better way. Slot is not gonna sort it out because he's he's not. He's, mm. I don't think he's gonna sort it out because when you see Salah not performing, Liverpool just need a manager who can put them on the spot. I'm just my opinion. Don't take mm. me. Don't take it the, the wrong way because I don't think. Uh, mm. He, has, he hasn't had a bad start. I mean, yeah, for, you know, for, you know Anes Lot has for for uh, his unbeaten away this season, so he has only lost once this season. Bro, so. I, 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 I don't, I don't care if he's unbeaten away or not. The only team yeah. that are not un, unbeaten this season now, you're talking about Nottingham. They were smashed today. You talk about <laughs> Liverpool, bro. Right now, the only two teams in the Premier League that are not beaten. Arsenal is lucky not Arsenal. to be. And the ah, mighty champions. Let ah, me just say it. That was, that was, you, got, you got lucky. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to that later. No, we got that uh, later. Just, just, we'll, just, chill, 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 just chill out. Yeah, yeah, I, I just but wanna... get to, I mean, but when we're looking at the game, when you when you watch that game, yeah. you wouldn't think Wolves are, are, are the bottom of the table, the way they play today. I mean, they they're, not, they're not. Good show. They're not. They're shifting. Cunha scored. I, yeah. I mentioned it. And I think, always remember, yeah. when I speak about something in this fan base, I just want you to remember. When I say Cunha scored, Antonio scored, scored, scored. scored, not Cunha. Antonio scored. Bro. It was a rebound, yeah. <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I mention about these things, I think my, my how, how many how many predictions of mine have gone through this weekend? It's because <laughs> I see it. I said all, all no, 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 I think now you, we need to start giving you advice on the sport betting side of things. <laughs> yeah, because 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 people like Wanga are living in the fountain side of life. The fountain yeah. side of life are like some other things that are like the, the shoe feet. <laughs> but <laughs> can uh, wear it. but Wanga, Wanga, from your yeah. from your side, I mean, uh, watching that game, I mean, what, I mean, what's your takeaway from it when you look at Liverpool? I mean, how they are. I mean, they are top of the table. Yeah. Uh, they've only conceded two goals in six games. Uh, yeah. When you look at it, they, even though their defense seems they they do take a lot of shots on goal against from the opposition, but they've only at the end of the day they've only conceded two. But when you look at it, yes, people are still got question marks over slot and what's happening. But at this is it too early to to sort of see the difference from the Klopp thing? Yeah, I think uh, it's too early to you know judge an slot uh, considering the kind of performance he has pulled off so far. Uh, you know, the transition coming from uh, the Dutch league into the Premier League, you know, where everybody, you know, thought he's too big for Liverpool and he has come in and settled so well. You know, hmm. uh, he managed to get his first win against in, in AC Milan. That was uh, at San Siro. That is not an easy win. And uh, the, he has only lost one that is uh, at home to Nottingham Forest and he's at the top of the table. And the amount of goals he's, he's, he's scoring are good and his team is not con- conceding a lot. So I think uh, Ernest Lott is doing, well, is doing well and if given time, and th- he'll, 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 do, he'll continue doing well in this particular Liverpool uh, team. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 cons- I'm worried, but, a little bit worried but, about Liverpool. They're, but, they're, they're slowly starting to impress me. Uh, how they're moving, they're moving but, calmly. Yeah, I mean, for a manager who's just in his sixth game as as a manager for the club, mm. I mean, you, you can't really be criticised, really. Yeah, and Abdu, when you I look into this particular game between uh, Wolves, you know, Wolves didn't play like a bottom of the leagues, uh, bottom of the table side. 
uh, they are number last, uh, having not won any game, just having one point. And uh, we look at uh, the reaction uh, of Lemina crying immediately after the match. I think they felt like they deserve to get more out of this match. But, you know, considering yeah. it's against a Liverpool side, which didn't impress, we saw they were so sloppy. They, it was not an impressive game to watch as a football fan, but uh, they managed to get a win, the Mohamed Salah getting the, you know, scoring the penalty. But taking a, looking into this particular game, I think Liverpool could have easily get gotten a draw and uh, at Molineux. But moving forward, I think uh, Wolves need to, you know, go back to the to the drawing board. And we should not criticize them so much because we have seen their players, some of their players have missed through a virus. So I think Wolves really deserved a draw, to say, to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, well, you, you just, I, I can see from where <laughs> where you are, from, from the position of uh, where you are. You need you need people above you to start dropping points big time. Come on, it's, <laughs> people are not dropping points. Uh, we, uh, we, I'm, I'm spending, we, I'm trying to, you know, yeah. not it's very get to watch, you know, it's but very it's not happening. And, then, and of course, it must be frustrating when you're sending out players and then they're performing for other teams, but they're, oh. not, they're, not, they're not living up to standards. Yeah, yeah, you expect yeah. Them. But then, okay, but then back to Liverpool. Um, one of the things I liked about them today was that midfield, you know, the McAllister in particular. I mean, he's he's mm. just he's just quality, isn't he, Steve? Yeah, McAllister's good. But I think uh, when you see when you see club bringing other quality players like substitutes, McAllister has been uh... <clears throat> yeah, I, World Cup yeah. winner. Yeah, we know. All right, but yeah, I forget about that. He's a yeah. big time World Cup winner, so he's, yeah, he's, he's a good he's one. standing on the biggest yeah. stage. I, I can't dispute anything about Liverpool. The only thing I mm. think about Liverpool is that I spoke about the, the issue of consistency, consistency, and being part of the league because you're yeah. a big team. Yes, we know you got to act like it. Yeah, they don't get the league. It's February, we're gonna find and out. I think, and and I think, I think that's important. All right. All right, guys. Okay, we move to, before we move to our final game, just want to remind everyone: please subscribe. Please subscribe. You're helping this channel build. Um, right, Arsenal, Leicester. I mean, this was meant to be a bit straightforward. Uh, Four-two game finished. The scoreline sort of flatters Arsenal a little bit, I think, <laughs> when you look at it. Like but, you, like you. Yeah, I mean, the game was running two-two until the night until the ninety. What are you saying, lucky? I'm gonna spin, but, um, I'm gonna spin it all the way. <laughs> yeah, so you have uh, what is it, Martinelli, Trossard, and Ndidi goal, and then Havertz, and then on the <laughs> Leicester side, two goals by Justin, one deflection and one one brilliant finish. Yeah. But remember, remember, I said, I said yesterday that because um, Mambo was, was thinking Martinelli should be bench with Sterling but mm. for me you can see the difference when Odegaard is not playing because Odegaard focuses a lot on Saka and now there's no Odegaard it's all mm. about it's almost like every man for himself and then now Martinelli in the last two games was, has been brilliant you know in this game he's been brilliant and the mm. last game is brilliant but 4-2 mm. Steve I think it was a bit sweating you know, I think yeah. the fans were sort of uh, accepting the draw and dropping the two points. Not even fans, me personally. <laughs> yeah. was, you know, when when he when he was, uh, I think I had called you. I had called you before the game. We we're supposed to talk about something else, but it was really difficult for me because I thought we had it all by halftime. Then after the the break, we we conceded. Then we conceded mm -hmm. again. I was so afraid because it was just difficult because, damn, <clears throat> this is not Arsenal, I know, because people were not working out because we were doing good. And I think I can blame that mm -hmm. for complacency because I think we got to a level where we were so complacent. We felt like we have the game, now we can just do whatever we want. And then at the same time, you mentioned Odegaard. I think Odegaard is a key part of Arsenal. And... Uh, We've been discussing about the issue of uh, Martinelli not being impactful in the game. Mm. Martinelli today, even before he scored, he squandered, he squandered away a scoring opportunity before he did that. That was so impactful to me because I felt it. Because we know the quality that Martinelli has. Mm. Before he scored that goal, he had, he had missed another chance. 
that was so clear than even the one that he scored. Mm. So I, I think Martinelli, I think maybe that 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 goal maybe gave him confidence. Maybe I, I'm expecting more from him because woof, I was so afraid because <laughs> at some point when <laughs> when things are getting when things are falling apart, I was I was like, whoa, <laughs> where well, I'm gonna start because we were playing a good game. Mm. We kept on pressing in the first half. We had we had all advantage to our side. Then everything mm. just fell apart. So I think Ateta should just wake up and see that he should step mm. up the way he did in this game. As much as the fourth goal had a lot of drama, the VAR, whatever, whatever issues, yeah, mm. it was a goal. It was so evident. But you see, we're gonna we gotta use even our first goal. It had a it, it had a lot a lot of issues. So. I won't dispute anything, but I think it's high time that the boys realize that they're going to step up and do what's supposed to be done. Score your goals when you can score them. Play the game when you can play. Leave the officiating, the officiating, for the officiating committee. Just do whatever you Don't, don't do. kick the ball away. Yeah. <laughs> just do, do whatever you got to do. That's the whistle. Mm. You see, Man City right now, we've drawn the same game. Right now, with Man City, we, 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 we have drawn the same game. We have, we have won the same game. Let's be there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they, they yeah. dropped big time today. Yeah. Ask, ask, ask them for me to be dropping anything. Yeah. Uh, Wanga, mm. it's one of those games for you again. You almost, you know, they're, they're almost <laughs> dropping points there. But Arsenal sneaked it. And, and again, it came from, you know, what Arsenal have mastered this last few games. You know, the corner, mm. the corner masters. It came from that again. Um, they're, they're they're really they're really dangerous in set pieces. You don't want Arsenal to get in corners against teams now. <laughs> I, I was telling my I was telling my friend uh, Ben, it's like uh, uh, corners are becoming the penalties now of Arsenal. Clearly, uh, if you've mm. seen the amount of goals they've scored through corners, it's just uh, ridiculous. But uh, coming back into that uh, particular match against Leicester, everybody thought you know it was an easy win for. Uh, Arsenal, but uh, Leicester had almost pulled a rabbit out of uh, the hole. Uh, yeah. we, we saw they got a goal out of the wedlock. Uh, that uh, we, I don't know if it was the own goal, but uh, you know the second goal uh, by so by, by um, the second goal was amazing. Justin. Yeah, by by Justin was amazing. Uh, I think Arsenal were lucky to get away with that draw, but uh, you know moving forward. You know, uh, teams have to get there to have to learn that they have to concentrate until the final whistle because have you uh, on the same page? Got away with the are we on the same page? Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. I've got away with the draw. Are we on the same page? I just want to clarify, <laughs> Abdi, forgive me. I just want to be clear. Are we on okay. the same page? We didn't get As- Arsenal, Arsenal, team. Arsenal, okay, like Arsenal got away with Arsenal won, but uh, you know, they almost drew, and clearly, we've seen uh, the kind of um. Steve, <laughs> no, 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 but, he, but Steve Wanga has. I mean, he has some point. I mean, I was, <laughs> yeah, I was trying, man. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was thinking, when, you know, you don't go and perform like that against City and then go and drop points at home to Leicester. I'm thinking that's 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 just crap. But every, we, we 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 snuck out of that one. Every, yeah, every every Arsenal every Arsenal every Arsenal fan knows that you know they, they got lucky and. Trossard has been, in, yeah, yeah. There is good lucky getting that to win because it was okay. You we are, we are lucky, draw. okay. But uh, Leandro Trossard, be lucky tomorrow. Be lucky tomorrow. It's a sign. Leandro Trossard, Leandro Trossard, Leandro Trossard. It's a sign, Trossard, 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 Trossard. It's a sign of the great team when they when they when they when they win without playing <laughs> playing well. Yeah, Leandro Trossard he has been, uh, you know, uh, the good signing from, you know, Arsenal almost bought Mudrik and when they failed to buy, buy Mudrik, they were able to get uh, Leandro Trossard and what a signing he has been uh, to this uh, additional, yeah. to this Arsenal side. And Gabriel Martinelli today also, he has scored his first goal since March. I think uh, also having an assist, this will give him confidence going into the future matches. But also we've seen Arsenal, you know, missing uh, their captain, you know, Odegaard. They are, they are not creative boys, and Saka is right now on a dry spell of goals. Okay, well, okay then, guys. I think that's 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 it for today. The great games. We're back. We're back tomorrow. 
for let's see if Wanga if you're gonna have that smile on you tomorrow or not or is it gonna be a the one thing I failed to mention into that particular Arsenal match we have to to give credit to the referee we've seen uh, the level of consistency he may say Arsenal almost got the red card the second challenge by uh Carlo Fury. Yeah, but that was I mean that uh, yeah, if it was even entitled to be carded. Yeah, yeah. That, that was the second yellow card. Yeah. That was, right, guys. No, I'm All saying right, the guys, first one you. wasn't even qualified to be a yellow card. The but the second he, he that All is right, guys, we're gonna end it there. We'll Arsenal come back, we'll come back tomorrow. Don't worry, guys. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll end it there. Thank you. Wanga, Steve. Guys, thank you for joining us another day. Appreciate it. Right. Manchester United. Like Yasin.